hi guys welcome to another awesome video i hope you are well i hope you are good i hope you are achieving whatever you are setting up to achieve i hope you are coping academically as the exams are approaching um, we are continuing with our series of quick win questions or as you like to call them easy to score questions and today we are doing the arithmetic sequence and series and as you see on my slide here i have what we call the arithmetic number pattern and we are going to uh, continue off where we left off uh, on the last video we were doing uh, the quadratic number pattern or the quadratic sequence and i hope you benefited from that video and now we are continuing from where we are left off and we are doing arithmetic uh, patterns and after arithmetic patterns we are going to do the arithmetic series and then uh, we close it off with sigma notation and geo uh, geometric uh, series so uh, just for quick admin if you haven't subscribed yet please um, hit the subscribe button don't be shy to click on the subscribe uh, subscribe button and join our family as we learn uh, mathematics together and we try to boost our marks um for today i have a question here and remember from the first video on sequence and series we discussed uh, our number patterns in detail we discussed our number pattern in detail um discussing the various formulas uh, and the various concepts in, in in the topic and we 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 also spoke about this thing here the formula so every number pattern whether it be quadratic whether it be geometric whether it be arithmetic like as, as you can see here we have what we call the nth term the nth term which we also call uh, the general term which is the equation used to um, used to find or express the terms that are in a sequence so now in the formula we have various components like what, what i have here which is a and this is the first term and over here i have tn which is the value of a term and then and here is my position of the term and then D here is my common difference and we use these elements together to form the nth term a generalized term which if we substitute our components here we can have different values for every position in the term so let's go straight to the questions here uh, i have question a here and we are given that we have a sequence which is one three five and seven and we need to determine the next two terms okay in us determining the next two terms we need to find out the progression of the sequence and how do we do that we need to find the spaces in between to say what is the difference we need to find the common difference between these two terms and we know that the common difference is t2 minus t1 and it should be equal to t3 minus t2 and if you look at here t2 minus t1 is 2 and also t3 minus t2 is 2 and it continues so meaning that our common difference here is equal to 2 so now every uh, term is going to be added we are going to add 2 to the previous term to get the next term so if we add 2 to 7 we get 9 and then if we add 2 to 9 we get 11 so that's how 
we find the next two terms we use the progression and if you are in a question paper setting and you are not given that uh, it's an arithmetic number pattern you have to test whether uh, there's a there's a common difference whether there's a constant ratio and whether there's a, a, a second difference so please use those as your tests so if you are given a pattern you have to test what type of a pattern is it and you are lo looking at the properties of uh, the sequence and if you discover that there's a common difference then it means that the sequence is arithmetic if you discover that there's a ratio a constant ratio then it means that your your sequence is geometric and then if you find that there's a first and second difference then your sequence is quadratic so let's continue to the next question um, this was question one so question two determine the nth term and you remember the general term for an arithmetic is tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 d and now for us to find the general term what we have to do is substitute the values that make this pattern and we said that okay uh, the first value that we need to substitute is the first term the first term is a and the first term here is 1 plus n minus 1 and then the difference here d is the common difference and we, we've established that the common difference here is 2 so meaning it's multiplied by 2 and you need to simplify your general term here so it's going to be 1 plus and we are going to distribute 2 so meaning it's 2 n minus 2 and then so we have 2 n here and the like terms are 1 and negative 2 so 1 minus 2 is negative 1 and there we have it our tn is 2n minus 1 so very simple and then we go to the next question question number three what is the 20th term so remember what we established in the previous video is that anything that has a positional um, positional suffix and second uh, uh, first fourth this is going to be your n so meaning if we have something like 20th then we have n equal to 20 and then what we can do here is because we have our tn which is 2n minus 1 we can also say that what we are looking for is t20 and we just substitute 20 here minus 1 and your your tn now is going to be uh, 2 times 20 which is 40 minus 1 that is 39 so meaning that t20 is actually 39 then we go to the next question which term is 57 and we have our general term here 2n minus 1 and what we are faced with is that we have to find which term is 57 and as i said whenever we see a positional suffix then what we need to do is use that value as as n like we did here so n is 20 but now if a value doesn't have a positional uh, suffix then now this is going to be the value of the term so meaning the value of the term is tn and then which is 57 is equal to 2 n minus 1 and now the question is asking us to find to solve for n so what i can do i can take one to the other side and it becomes positive and i add it to 57 so it's going to be 58 is equal to 2 n and then i divide by two both sides divide by two and then n is equal to so what is 58 divided by 2 uh, that is 29 very simple 
straightforward um, work easy to score question and uh, let's move on to another question when it comes to uh, your arithmetic okay here's a question now determine the value of x if the following sequence is arithmetic so what i usually tell my learners is that if a question comes and they tell you um, they tell you the nature of the sequence and it's arithmetic they are actually telling you that use the common difference and t2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2 when they tell you that a sequence is quadratic they are saying use the second difference to find uh, the, the the unknown variable if they tell you that um, a sequence is geometric what they're actually saying is that use uh, the constant ratio to to solve for an unknown uh, variable so what we have here is an arithmetic and we know that t2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2 so which is a very simple question and what how we need to approach this is in a way that uh, we label our points here so this this x x minus 1 is going to be my t1 um, 5 minus x is going to be my t2 and 3x minus 1 is going to be my t3 and we've established that t2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2 that's what we we agreed on because the sequence is arithmetic so now what is the value of my t2 t2 is 5 minus x minus and then t1 t1 is x minus 1 and we said this is equal to and then my t3 now is uh, t3 is is my t3 it's 3 x minus 1 minus and then my t2 is going to be 5 minus x and then i close the bracket so what i will have to do here is simplify so i have 5 minus x and then i distribute the negative so it's negative x plus 1 is equal to 3x minus 1 and then i have negative 5 plus x so i'll add the like terms in each of the sides so i'll have a uh, 6 minus 2x is equal to and over here i have 4x minus 6 so i will group the like terms so i'll take uh, 4 to this side and leave negative 2 so 4 becomes negative uh, 4x becomes negative so it's going to be negative 6x and if i take the positive 6 to the other side of the equal sign it's going to be negative so i'll have negative 6 and negative 6 which is negative 12 and then i divide by negative 6 both sides divide by negative 6 both sides and then x is equal to 2 and sometimes they would want you to find uh, to actually find the first three terms and if you look at it if now x is 2 the first term is going to be x minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 and then um, the second value is going to be 5 minus x so which is 5 minus 2 which is 3 and then the next uh, value is going to be so the first value here what we, we found is x is, is 2 minus 1 right from x minus 1 and then the next one is 
5 minus x which is 5 minus 2 which is 3 and then the third one is going to be 3 multiplied by 2 minus 1 which is 5 so that's how we solve for unknown variables and uh, let's go to the next question so the next question differs from the last one because um, instead of having one variable x we have x and y and this uh, type of question we solve it using simultaneous equations uh, so what we have here is one and I'm going to create space in between the terms and then I have y and then I have seven and we know that because they said um, the series or the, the sequence is is arithmetic then it means that t2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2 and which can also extend to t4 minus t3 and it continues so over here the difference is x minus 1 y minus x so over here it's y minus x and then over here it's 7 minus y so very simple and what we know is that uh, t2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2 and what is my t2 minus t1 it's x minus 1 and it should be equal to y minus x and what I'll do is just take x to the other side and now so I'll take the x to the other side and then it becomes positive and we have 2x minus 1 is equal to y and also we have the fact that t um, t4 minus t3 is equal to t3 minus t2 so what is my t4 minus t3 i have a 7 minus y is also equal to y minus x and wherever there's y i should put 2x uh, minus 1 so i'll just simplify it first um, so over here I'll have uh, I'm going to take 7 to the other side and take y to this side so I'll have negative 2y is equal to minus 7 minus x so this is my equation 1 and then this is my equation 2 so what I'll do I'll substitute equation 1 into equation 2 and wherever there's a y I'll write 2x minus 1 is equal to minus 7 minus x so I hope that's clear um, then we have negative 4 x plus 2 is equal to negative 7 minus x if we group the like terms take x to the other side becomes positive and we left with negative 3x and then over here we'll have negative 9 and if we divide by 3 negative 3 if we divide by negative 3 both sides then uh, we have that x is equal to 3 and now if x is equal to 3 remember we said y is equal to 2x minus 1 then we have to substitute x as 3 minus 1 which is equal to 5 so now your sequence is 1, 3, 5, 7. And there we go. Uh, that is an addition to your marks. The only thing that we are working with here is the fact that when you are given the nature of the sequence that uh, it's arithmetic, you know that you would have to uh, use the fact that uh, T2 
minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2 is equal to t4 minus t5 and so on and that would enable you to form two equations and then which you would solve uh, simultaneously let's look at the next question so it seems like we are done with um, the sequence and we are going to the series and now we need to establish our grounds for the sequence or for the series as we did for the sequence um, so what I have here is two equations Sn both of them are Sn meaning that Sn is the sum so is sum and also this one is sum and now in uh, in series n has a different definition remember we said for sequences n is the the the, the position of a term so now because we are adding terms this n means the number of terms so it's no longer the position of the term is the number of terms and a a is the first term still the same and we have l here which is the last term and over here d is still the common difference And that's what we need to know when it comes to um, your series and let's look at what is happening here we have a series and um, given that 1 plus 5 plus 7 uh, and it continues we need to determine the sum of the first 10 terms and what we know is that if we are given the last term we use the first um, formula here and if we were not given the last term we use formula number two so over here we're not given the last term so what we need to do is use formula number one and sn is equal to oh formula number two sorry for that because we're not given um, the last term so over two and then two a plus n minus one fine so what are we looking for we are looking for the sn which is the sum of these terms and uh, n is the number of terms and for question number one we are given that there's 10 terms so 10 over 2 2 and then a is our first term which is 1 plus n is 10 minus 1 and now we are left with finding the common difference and you 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 find the common difference as as the same way as you are finding the common difference when we are dealing with um, your arithmetic number pattern so here is 2 so your common difference is 2 always put a bracket when you're substituting fine and from from here on you just use your your calculator to find um, the sum so you substitute the way as you've you've written and uh, your calculator will do the rest for you and lucky enough uh, we know how to use a calculator and your your answer is 100 and then the next question question number two Determine the value of n for which the first n terms, um, the sum of the first n terms, uh, 225. And over here, we are given that this is the sum, and for us, we have to calculate n. So remember, Sn is equal to n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1, d. That is the formula for the sum but they've told us that the sum 
is is two two twenty five, and we don't know n. We have to solve for n over two, and that is two. The value of a is the first term plus n minus one, and then the common difference is two. So first of all, we need to eliminate uh, the denominator. So we multiply both sides by 2 and um, 225 times 2 that is going to be 450 and we eliminate the 2 so that will be n and then 2 plus now we need to simplify the bracket here so it's going to be 2n minus 2 close bracket so 450 is equal to n and then we have uh, 2 minus 2 here the 2's cancel out and we left with 2n and then when solving for n we have to multiply 2n times n so meaning 450 is equal to 2n squared then we have to remove the 2 by dividing both sides so 225 is equal to n squared and wherever we have a, an n squared we must make everything equal to zero right so n squared and then we take this to the other side so it becomes negative uh, 225 is equal to zero and it just so happened that um, 225 is a perfect square so now meaning that uh, we have to use the difference of two squares because this is the perfect square this is the perfect square so the square root of n squared is n and then the square root of 225 is 15 and then we have plus minus so now n is equal to negative 15 or n is equal to 15 and we know that um, when we are dealing with sequences and, and series n always has to be uh, your counting numbers so we don't count in the negative and then we have to exclude uh, your negative 15 so that is how you deal with uh, your sequences when it comes to the arithmetic sequence first thing you have to know that which values are you given and substitute into the correct uh, formula over here we, we needed to calculate the sum of the first 10 terms meaning that n in sequences is not the position of a term it is the number of terms so we substitute the number of terms as n and then the first term is a and if you have the last term you can use formula number one and if you don't have the last term use formula number two and we didn't have the last term so we substitute into formula number two and then uh, we get our answer uh, for number two we were given the sum and we needed to solve for n so you substitute and then you do your algebra for you to solve for n and remember the trick is that sometimes you guys when you solve uh, for a quadratic you, and then you, you root both sides you forget that there's two answers for for or two solutions so you need to use I, I prefer difference of two squares instead of the conventional rooting of uh, the two sides so let's move on to the next question and see what it has in store for us so the next question that we are given here is um, a series and it's negative 3, negative 2, negative 1 and it goes to 0, 1, 2 and it looks to be an arithmetic because the common difference seems to be 1 and we keep adding 1 so meaning d is equal to 1 and then now, now that we know that it is an arithmetic uh, series so what we need to do is a uh, sum of an arithmetic is n over 2 and now we have two equations and or 
formulas that we need to use but this one we use it if we have the last term and we don't in this case so what we'll do is 2a plus n minus 1 d and then we need to substitute our values and they are saying that determine the values of n so now we are solving for n and the sum of the first n terms is what is 100 and uh, 1075 so meaning that uh, our our sn is a thousand seventy five and then it's n over two two times the value of a is the first term so it's negative three plus uh, n minus one and our common difference is one then we need to simplify and the first thing that comes to mind we need to multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the denominator so what 1075 multiplied by 2 that is 2150 uh, is equal to n and then 2 times negative 3 that is minus 6 minus 6 and we have plus n minus 1 because the common difference is a is 1 so now 2150 is equal to and then we need to add the like terms here so we have n and then n minus 7 and then the next step is to so we have to distribute n here so it's n squared minus 7n and if we have a squared it means we have to use a quadratic and um, and then we need to make everything equal to zero so meaning that n squared minus 7n and we take this to the other side becomes negative so minus 2 uh, 1 5 0 is equal to zero and now we can use uh, we can find the factors or we can use quadratic formula and say n is equal to minus and then b is what is negative seven plus plus minus the root of negative seven squared minus four a is one and then c is negative two one five zero all over 2 times 1 and we get that n n is equal to 50 or n is equal to negative 43 and remember what we always established is that we only use counting numbers and we don't count in the negative so we have to exclude uh, n is equal to uh, 43 so that is it with uh, the arithmetic sequence i'll see you on the next video when we are doing um, the geometry and apologies for my voice i i am coming down with the flu but the show must go on um, remember to, to to subscribe and, and and join our family and also click on the notification bell so that you are always in in the know and you're updated whenever i post a video i'll see you on the next uh, video when we are doing the geometric series. Bye!